Hi everyone, it's Gail and it's Mixed Media Monday. I have got a giant mess of jelly printing stuff out here and uh, what I want to do today is work on some just experimentation on different types of paper. So that's what we'll be up to. Let's say hi and hugs first to Maggie, Sonia, Pat and Cynthia. Thank you so much for watching and for your kind comments. Okay, we are going to get to it here. The first thing I wanted to kind of remind you of is, um, is that what I do is I have, I'm putting my gloves in a bottle on so that we can get as messy as we want and it'll still wash off. I do have that on my favorite things if you're interested. It's great stuff. Ink, paint, it's great. So anyway, I um, just wanted to remind you that I kind of um, sort my uh, jelly prints that I have printed on in three uh, categories. So I have the finished ones. These feel, these feel finished to me. Um, and so those are the ones I can grab from if I want collage fodder or whatever. Then I have the need more, and I think we'll address those in another video. But as you can see, not, not finished. They, they just need a little something more. Although I do kind of love that, but it needs something more. Okay, this is a need more as well. So, and then I have the ones that I want to doodle on because I, I just so enjoy doing that. And I think like outlining some of the, the circles here would make a big difference. This one is started. So then the doodle, the doodle section. So that's how I keep mine organized. So I'm going to set those aside and we are going to get started. So what I have here is I have a brand new 12 by 12 jelly plate. I'm so excited. Inspired, of course, by my friend Carrie, the crafter. And then this one is, I think it's 12 by 9 or something like that. And then this one is 8 by 10. So I got them all out. And then this little guy, if I need a little palette. So... I have those. I have my sheet of labels to roll off on. I have a bunch of mark making things. Um, again, you don't need really to um, buy stencils when you can find stuff around the house to, to, to use. These are, I cut up a pair of dollar store um, thongs. <laughs> so that's that. Um, this is from fruit. This is shelf liner, as is this, and then some um, sponge and some bubble wrap. So, so yeah, I grabbed out a little bit of a variety there. Uh, let's see, what else do I have? And then I dug into my stencils, even though I don't know that we'll get to that today, because I do want to do some backgrounds and experiment with paper, but these are some of my most loved um, stencils that were kind of at the bottom of my bin. So the papers, I've got, I've got lots of different things here. Um, let me show you these. This one, I I got this at Hobby Lobby. It's just craft cardstock. I wanted to see how it did. It's what I have. I don't have any white 12 by 12. But I thought we'd play with that on there. This is the straw paper that I get from Roxy Creations on Etsy. Um, I got this piece, you know, when we were making the um, the the covers with the uh, mat, um, modeling paste and stuff. I had one more prepared that I didn't do. So I thought with the gesso, it might be interesting to see how that turns out. And then I've got a piece of Braille paper. And then I have two different colors. I already know that Deli paper um, just does a great job jelly printing. But I have this, um, this 
craft colored deli paper. Want to try that? Let's see what else do we have here. Oh, I have my glossy labels. I thought let's let's see what happens with those. I have some parchment paper. Um, I have some old vintage, this is typing paper, it's like onion skin, so I wanted to see what that would be like. It may, may tear, I don't know. And then I've got these two little specialty papers that I got on Amazon. Okay, so let's have ourselves a play. And then I really, I have my, my two use it ups. These are my use it up bins. They have... They have seen better days, these paints. And I just want to get them used up. Oh, the other thing is I have three different brayers. I'll probably use this one. It's kind of my brayer of choice. I've got, oops, excuse me. Gosh, my watch gets caught on the arm sometimes. I apologize. Yeah, so anyway, we have, we have stuff to experiment with. So let's do some backgrounds. Um... I did think I would like to do some kind of more fallish sort of backgrounds. So I don't know what we've got here. What we have here is a paint goober. That's what we have here. Um, yeah, so let's just jump in. I'm so excited to use this new big guy. Let's see, I want a, like a darker green maybe. I don't know. And then maybe a yellow. Let's do him kind of in the middle. Um, yeah, all of this paint is so, so old and so, so sad. But, you know, it still, it still works. So, let's see. How can I put... I'm, I'm rearranging for a second. Give me a second. I just want to get my paints where I can grab at them without them being in the way of what I'm doing. Okay. So off we go. We're just going to play. And you know, um, there are many, there are many tutorials out there on jelly plating. I am by no means an expert. I just like to play with it. So if you don't have a jelly plate, I highly recommend. They're just they're just so fun to see what you get. It's like always a surprise. At least it always is a surprise for me because, again, I'm not I'm not an expert. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just I'm just playing. Okay. So, oh, I didn't even pick what we're going to. Um, so I'm going to roll this off on the labels. Maybe this will be my fall labels one. Um, hmm. Well, what should we do? Let's try. Let's try this this paper and just see what it does. So we're just gonna lay that on. Oop. Okay. The nice thing is it's gonna cover the whole paper. Now I do have one of these barons to rub with and I do apologize you're gonna jiggle when I rub because I have my camera right here right here on my the camera arm is right on my table but that's the only way I have to set it up so I apologize for for the jiggle when when we rub oh that's gonna be fun oh look how fun that is Okay, that's good background. That's good background. I have my shower curtain on the floor over here so I can lay down the prints. And, um, yeah, oh, this will be so fun. You guys, it is warm here. Is it warm where you are? Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's just really warm. I think what I might do is... I am going to, I'm going to put down a little, a little something and then put some paint over it. And then, um, 
I'm going to let this one dry and work on a different on a different plate. Cuz let's see, let's go on the here. This is gold, which will be fun. And I think I'm just going to put just here and there with the gold. It was just kind of splatchy. Splatchy. A little bit splotchy. There we go. Okay. I would like a little up there if possible. Okay. And then, and then what? She says, and then what? So this is sienna something or another so i think i might like that this is <laughs> this plant paint is a little bit lumpy so there's that but sometimes these crumbly paints make really cool they make really cool prints so i'm not gonna Sorry, rolling sometimes jiggles the camera too, doesn't it? So I do apologize that for that. I wish I wish my setup was better, but you know, I'm just really grateful to have a spot to do mixed media um, as well as a separate spot for journal making because my right now my my journal making spot is a disaster over there. It's got five journals a going. So there's no way I could have done this today if it wasn't for having a separate space. So I am very grateful. Okay, I think I'm going to, what I'm gonna do is take a piece of jelly paper and press that down first and kind of get whatever's on top of the whatever's on top and then into the creases we'll just see who knows what we'll get but what i really want is what's underneath the stencil okay so Ooh, that makes kind of a cool base for something, doesn't it? That's fun. All right. And then, and then what I'm going to do is take this off. Ooh, and then it's, yeah. So then we'll um, let that, let's let that dry. So what I'm going to do is switch out my jelly plates. Grab another one to play with and put that one up there. Okay, then I have to see, I can't see the holder, the holder that I have for um, over here is not, it's not the best, let's just say. And so I can't really see where I'm at. But I think, I think I'm in camera pretty well. Okay, so now what? I think I'm going to take this and pull off just some splotches of this on, onto my, onto this. That's kind of, it's kind of cool. Okay, that's going to be, that's a bit of a mop off, isn't it? Okay, what do we want to do now? Let's try, let's try something small. Let's try these shiny labels just to see what happens. Um, could be interesting. Or it could be super ugly. We don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, oh. How about some purples? I don't think I have any purple um, 
you know, kind of tape. Maybe this one. Oops, that was a lot. And I don't know whatever this is. I don't know, it's oddly satisfying to pull a paint goober off of a paint, <laughs> paint jar. What is it about that? I don't know. Okay, so, oh, I got, I got plenty. I got plenty of paint. Oh, Gail, that's right. It don't matter. And it's going to be on that glossy, so who knows how this is going to, and probably what I'll do with this is I'll probably do some stamping on it once. Um, so again, it's just kind of a kind of a background. I think I'd like a little of just a skosh, if it will. Gosh, the paint coopers. That's how I get my hands all painted usually is the is pulling off the paint goobers. Okay, that's fun. It's also very fun on the wipe-off page. I will show you the wipe-off page at some point here. Okay, let's see what happens to glossy clear labels that will end up being decorative paint. Decorative, not the W word, <laughs> decorative. <laughs> oy, oy, oy. Okay. That is real goopy. Ooh, but look. How cool is that? Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay, let's put that over to dry. I don't know that I'll do any stamping to that. Let's see if we can pull up. I'm just gonna grab a... This is just a regular piece of copy paper. And see if we can get that same image. Again, it's just, you never know what you're going to get. I just, I love that. Okay. Oh, gosh. That's really cool. <laughs> I probably couldn't repeat it. It's just, it's just one of those things that happened. Wow. Okay. Um, I'm going to grab, I've got, I've got some just plain tags and I like to have those kind of at the ready when I'm jelly, uh, jelly printing too, because they're good for pulling up edges. Okay, well, there's a start to a tag to this uh, this here just in in case we need it. Okay. Now what? I want to try. Um, I want to try this onion paper. Is this gonna? That would actually be better on that. I bet you that other one's dry. So I'm gonna switch a row again. Excuse the reach. Because once it dries, then you can pick it up. I'm in camera mostly. Okay, so 
what color I want a lighter color to cover this uh let's use is this buttermilk light buttermilk I do love this color it's Americana Ooh, that is if there's some still in there boy we're getting right down to it with that aren't we I'm gonna set it upside down in my tray here okay so now theoretically what's dried underneath should come up when we pull this print theoretically gloppy but I do feel like this is a good way to use up your old paint because you know you're going for a little arty anyway aren't you wait that was what I think. okay so this is the onion skin paper I think I want to go this way can't tell if there's a right side or a wrong side, but we're just gonna. I'm just gonna, let's see. Let's lay it down on the corner, and then I can get. So then on this, I need to rub really good, so we pick up the underneath. That's the. That's the goal. Okay, I'm gonna do that, and then I'm also gonna grab this one and. Just kind of pop it right there. Um, and where's my tag over here? Let's just put the tag on there too. Okay. See what happens. Okay, I guess I have to pull this one up first because it's kind of... Mm, got a little something, not a whole lot. This one, that one we got some lines. Let's see on this. Oh, this is gonna pull this up nicely. Ooh. Yeah, that was good. Pulled up all of that underneath. Okay, well, that's really fun. Now, I would not mind that as just a little signature page in a journal, as is. I think it's a fun, fun fall colors, you know? Oh, my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can put a little bit more buttermilk up here and see if I can pull that off on that tag with the other one. Let's just see what happens. up even more Ooh, I'm starting to really like the tag let's see if we can get this at the top yeah oh cool okay well that was fun um how's about we I'm going to pull out this one, and I'm thinking, I wanted to show you this too. So this little piece, uh, I got at a scrapbooking store. It's not a stencil. It's, um, it's like scrapbooking paper that's been die cut, but the more you use it, the paint builds it up, and it's very strong now. So 
I think that's kind of cool. Let's put, let's put some teal down and see what happens. I should shake that, I think. Yep, we're getting low on a lot of these. That's okay. I have lots of paints and um, if we need another color, we'll just we'll just grab it. Um, so yeah, I hope you're all doing well and I hope you've had a good week so far. We really have. Um, my son was here and that was fun. Of course I'm filming ahead as always, so. You know, what's happening in real time when you see this has has long gone. <laughs> but yeah, so he he has his presentation today and then he heads home. So but it was so fun to have him. Okay. Lay that down. Put I'm gonna put this on it. And we're going to see if we can put some, some circles on here. I was curious how it would react because this is gessoed. This paper is gessoed. So I just was kind of curious of how it might work. Ooh, well, that's fun. Definitely needs more, but that's really fun. Okay, and then let's see. Then I'm looking at none of my none of my things will will do for. Uh, so what I'm going to do is grab a piece of the white deli paper and see if I can pull second print here ghost print as they call it and that will just be kind of first layer for this oh yeah that's pretty cool not bad not bad okie dokie Okay, let's see, what paper haven't we used? We haven't used this parchment. I would like to see, just kind of see how this pulls. I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think of, think of what we're doing here. Put some red. Pink, pink, that would be would be kind of a fun little so I'm just gonna use this plate so I don't I'm not switching them out if I need that other one I'll grab it oop yeah you can see I'm really <laughs> We kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel with some of these. Hmm. Eee, this one's thick. That is a paint goober. Hmm. I don't know if I'm going to get any out of there. Shake it up, shake it up. There we go. Let the paint goober settle down to the bottom. There we go. Good enough. <laughs> Ooh, that was kind of fun how that came out. Alrighty. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see what we get here. Oh gosh, I've got I'm getting paint all over myself. I wiped myself on my nap or my napkin, my apron, 
and then stuck my arm in it, you know? So that's how I roll. That's why my my band of my Apple Watch has all sorts of different colors on it. <laughs> Woo! Hello, red. Goodness, yes. Okay. I'm just going to lay this down and say, well, maybe we want a, do I want some kind of little, mm, nope, those are all kind of toppers. I'm just going to do background on this guy. And then maybe we can, maybe I'll grab piece of this and just whoa we're curling we're curling I was okay never mind <laughs> okay well that, that's kind of interesting but look it just curls right up well that's hilarious okay so I'm gonna say the parchment paper paper isn't maybe the best choice for oh, for the jelly plate Okay, now let's pull this up on this guy. Oh my goodness, that was crazy. Well, you don't know till you try, right? Excuse the jiggle. Okay, well, well, there's that. So definitely needs more, doesn't it? Okay. All right. So what next have we tried? Oh, we need to try. We need to try this. So let's see. What colors would we like? Um, I'm going to go. Let's see. Let's do this one. I'm going to go with this one. It's kind of a burnt sienna color. I don't know. <laughs> The bottle has caved in. It's definitely old. We need to figure out a recycle for... Oh, oh that just happened. Um, <laughs> we need to figure out a recycle for paint crusties. Okay, well... There's that. Let's see. It's got it's got paint goobers in it. Okay. Um trying to figure out what to do with this. Um see well let's just lay this down and it's going to have a background of this color how's that i think i'm going to go like this because i could could pull up some on the edges with that Okay, there you go. <laughs> oh, it is so fun though. I'm actually gonna do this all day today because I have the mess out. So I'm gonna film several Mixed Media Mondays at once here. Ooh, that's cool on the Braille paper. Okay, well. That was pretty good. Um, I think I'd like to let this dry before pulling it up. So let's switch a row here. 
just switch gears to the little bit smaller plate. Um, what else? Oh, I've got... I've also got this straw paper that I wanted to give give a try to um what is this this is oh that's gold what's the gold um let's go to this bucket here and see again I'm just kind of thinking I'd like some fallish colors because all of that is coming you know, not so much the season as the, um, not so much the season as the starting on journals. This is going to be gritty. Can you tell? <clears throat> that one's not too bad. want that one or that one. I think I want this one. Eww, that one was stuck. Okay. Yeah, so we watched the horror movie with our son last night. Two nights in a row. <laughs> Happily, I haven't had any bad dreams, but oh my goodness. It's kind of fun because it's something we wouldn't do if he wasn't here, you know? So in, in that regard, it's, it's kind of fun. Okay, let's see what we get here. Ooh, I like that yellow. And this, ew. <laughs> disgusting <laughs> oh dear oh kid okay put it on my on my roll off sheet ah! <laughs> okay okay that part's going to need some work oh goodness <laughs> it's made a nice gr <laughs> Except what for right there. Oof. Okay. Okay, let's see how let's see how this pulls up. There's gonna be an edge, but that's okay. Ooh, it is just fine. Yeah, so that's the straw paper. It pulls it up just fine, I think. Huh, okay. Good. Fun to know. So so far the only one who ha that hasn't worked is the um the parchment paper. Not good there, not good there. Okay, we have this paper left to try. And um, I like I like that grunginess. Um, let's try let's try this gold just for fun. Let's just give it a try. See if we can just pick up what's on the plate. I don't know if it's going to be dry enough yet, but we'll just try it. See what happens. Maybe I can brush this over my labels and it will save the day there. Oof. Ooh, that's so pretty. Okay. Oh, yeah. That saves the days on my labels. I think that one's about done. We're going to have to switch to another one. But 
let us let us put this down and see what happens. And I think what I'm going to do is take this and go this way on that. Ooh, that made that fun. Okay. So. I'm hoping that's dry enough. Hmm. Ooh. It did pull up underneath some of the brown and some of the orange. So that's kind of cool. Ooh, I like that. Okay, now, um, let's see, where are we time-wise? We've only got about 15 minutes. Let's just make some backgrounds on some other stuff. Let me show you this. So those will be fun labels to use. And I'm just going to grab, I think I have, yep, have another one. We'll start on another one. I'm going to just set this aside to dry. Okay, so let's just... See now all that gold would be fun to be pulled up. Let's let's switch out. Let's let this dry for a while. Let's switch out to this one. We haven't even used our other one, so I might just have to put that one away for now. Okay. So am I in camera is the question. I think pretty well. Okay, so what would be good? You know what? I think I'm going to use something. Let's grab this. I think I'll do some of this cardstock, but then let's do a lighter color. Let's do the gold again. Yeah, I am definitely into. You know what I think I'm going to do is gold. Yes. And whatever this is, it looks like a bit of a kind of a yellowish, creamish color. Sorry, paint goober off. Hopefully, oh, well, that should be enough. My struggling with my whole one of these times I'm gonna do a video that it oh okay, don't need that. Um one of these times I'm gonna do a video with fresh paint and <laughs> that would be refreshing, wouldn't it? <laughs> So what I'm hoping is this, this is going to pull the orange that we let dry on this, on here. I'm hoping that it's going to pull that off. We shall see. I want that dot to be smoothed out, but it doesn't want to be so okay. Now, let's see what happens. Backgrounds and backgrounds. Oop. Goodness. The, thus, the gloves in a bottle. Ooh. Try and go slow, and then I might not jiggle the camera so much. Not the best setup in the world, but again, I'm real grateful to have the um, the second space because man, oh man, I just have 
summer's bounty stuff everywhere over there. Okay, let's see what we get. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Cool, huh? There's some shine to it. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. I'm running out of space here. Oh, I like that one so much. Oh, okay. Well, that was fun. Well, let's... um now switch back and bring this one that has the gold on it and maybe we can pick some of that up yet again um just kind of think since it's light we might want to go a darker a darker something um I'm gonna, I'm gonna cheat a little bit and use a newer paint. This is um, raw sienna, and it's one of my favorite Liquitex paints. Can't get that off. This is getting old too. Obviously, I am not jelly printing enough. Yellow oxide. This one's nearly out. I don't know. Let's see if we can get any. <laughs> yeah, I think this one's had it. Darn. Yellow oxide. Do I have any of that over here? Um, I don't think so. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh! Well, this is a different color, but this one's fairly new. Yes. That's what it's supposed to look like. And then I want just a teeny weeny bit of this. Do I want this? Yes, because it's more liquidy. Okay. We'll see what we get. Ooh. Ooh, that's fun. Ooh, that is cool. Okay, so maybe should have figured out what we were gonna put that on, but I didn't. Um, now I think I'm just gonna go with the piece of. Oh, you know what I wanted to do? Almost forgot. I have this embossed paper. This. These were from, um, I think, from an order from uh, Woodland, uh, Woodland Inspired Celeste over there. Um, let's just take that one. Just wanted to see what happens. I probably was meaning to save that for the next video, but I didn't. So, you know. Ooh, look at that. Oh, gosh. Look at that. Ooh, that's cool. Okay. Okay, now let's see what we get. Okay. 
I'm going to do this sort of now sideways-ish. Okay, that's just layering and layering on that and it's kind of coming out cool. Oh, I think those um, pieces of, ooh, okay, so look what that embossing did. It just took the paint away in some spots. That's kind of cool. Oh boy, I'm running out of space here, guys. Lay wet things. But again, that's, that's how those ended up, and I think that looks really cool. Hmm. So fun. So fun. Okay. I'm going to see if I can have, smooth this out again a little bit. It seems like it's still wet. Um. Here's one of these. See what happens. I do enjoy the ghost prints. I often like them more even than, look at how pretty that is even more than the, you know, the first pull. Oh, that's wet. Okay, let's see. We don't really have anything on either of the plates. Maybe what we'll do is, I don't know, it'll be hard to show you each one of the things that we did because they're all over the floor. Um, but you saw them at the time, but I'm just gonna say, I think the braille paper and this one, which was the second pull from the braille paper, I think those are a couple of my favorites from today. Um, also really like, here, let me see if I can grab it. Oh, without killing myself here. Okay, got it, got it. She's not as agile as she used to be. <laughs> so this is the shiny labels. They're still a little bit wet, but love that. And then love the second pull from that too. So those are my faves. So yeah, so I hope, I hope you had fun watching. I sure had fun playing. So I'm gonna kind of try and clean these up a little bit with um, just some, just some, you know, scratch paper or something, and then um, and then I'll get ready and and do another. What we'll do next time, I think, is just try and do the next layer on these, and if we get all of these done as far as next layer, then we may go ahead and do. Um, some that are in my file. So thanks everybody so much for playing with the jelly plate with me today. And we will just see you in the next video. Have a grateful day. Bye everyone.